This is the very first day members are allowed to speak. Allow me, therefore, to make my maiden speech in this third assembly. And uh, I count myself lucky as the very first honorable member to speak in this third assembly. Mr. Speaker, allow me to make a congratulations to the people of Chepchabas who <coughs> sought the opportunity to elect me for the very second time on the elections that was held on the 9th of, 9th of August 2022 and sending me to make a representation in this house for the five-year term, uh, preferably ending 2027 for this contract. Honorable Speaker, it goes without saying that people woke up very early in the morning on the very day. People saw the need to elect their leaders. And among the election that was done, Honorable Speaker, is the election of the member of County Assembly for Chepchabas. And that is me, Honorable Wesley Kiprotich. I will remain indebted to those people of Chepchabas for giving me an opportunity to serve them in the areas of representation, legislation, and even oversight that is going to be bestowed upon us by the Constitution of Kenya 2010. And that has been given unto us <coughs> to ratify and to do all the things that pertain this particular house. Secondly, Honorable Speaker, is to join the rest of the people of Pomet County in congratulating them for electing a government that is now in place, led by the Honorable Professor His Excellency Hilary Barchok, his deputy, uh, His Excellency uh, David Shatra Krotich. Even as he forms the government, it is the wishes of the people of Chepchabas that uh, whatever the manifesto that was given, and that gave us the opportunity even to give this particular people the service that is going to be rendered in five years, we as the people of Chepchabas wish him well as he does so and implement his manifesto. Coming to this House Honorable Speaker, first I would like to congratulate every member present here, those who are elected and nominated by political parties, to come to this particular House to do what it appertains to them, bestowed by the Constitution of Kenya, and wish that God is going to grant all of us wisdom so that we do all the things that is required by all of us, so that we do all the things that we gave out the manifesto. Our duty and our prayer, Mr. Speaker, is that God grant all of us Solomonic wisdom so that we deliver to the people who gave us the mandate, even to be in this house. Thirdly, Mr. Speaker, is to congratulate you on your election as the Speaker of this House and congratulate your Deputy, Honorable Leonard Rotich, who is going to be of great assistance to you and your office and the office uh, that is bestowed upon all of us. <clears throat> Finally, Honorable Speaker, is to join all Kenyans in congratulating His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, and the Asla Nation at all as he forms the government and delivers to the people of Kenya. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, sir, that said and done, we are going to have a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, coming now to the motion that is before us, it is indeed prudent that the House Business and Rules Committee is overtaken by events, and by your ruling this morning, that the motion before us is properly constituted to be executed by this House. Honorable Speaker, the members who have been nominated to serve in this particular uh, session that we are going to have the House Business and Rules Committee, I want to congratulate them and congratulate the motion mover, uh, Honorable Paul Kirui, the motion second, Honorable Kipet Nyatich, for bringing this particular motion and for the benefit of all of us. To the rest of us, Honorable Speaker, let it be known that this is indeed a proper uh, motion. We are not going to fit all of us in the same committee, but we are going to serve in different committees. I therefore urge members of this particular committee uh, to work expeditiously to present to us the business of the House and give us all the needs that is always required. Mr. Speaker, I support the motion 
and I thank you for giving me an opportunity to make my maiden speech.